coming to you live here at the starting line of the TCS Toronto Waterfront Marathon. It's live from last week, episode 147. Let's go! Welcome, my fellow tree walkers, to another episode of Laugh from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. So, just in between my two night shifts today, this morning after their shift, guess who found a box of goodies in their break room? And just like numerous upon numerous times, I've been tempted by treats in this room. Guess who couldn't resist and chow down on some free breakfast today? As well, out of the corner of my eye, I had also seen another box of treats, of which were reported to be dropped off during the day shift by a coworker that I haven't seen in a while. And guys, just like the cookie monster, I took some time to definitely appreciate this cookie after my shift. Thanks, Janice. But moving on, remembering all the fun that I had here during the weekend, I decided to pass by the Ontario Science Centre on my commute home. And just like I had promised last week, you guys will just have to wait until next week's episode to check out the music video that I got in store for you guys of our trip to the Science Centre. Before I go in for my second of my two night shifts, and shout outs to my former roommate Jeffers with whom I visited here last, I now present to you guys the music video of our adventures at the Ontario Science Centre from last weekend. So after a busy and stressful night shift last night, I decided to cool myself off post night shift just like I did several weeks back by taking a nice quick post night shift shower here at the hospital locker room. I then made my way to a place that I haven't been to in a while since this live from last week episode to the downtown Toronto College Park Planet Fitness to not only not work out, but to chill on these massage chairs while editing some live from last week footage on my laptop with my eyes closed. But next up, before I was able to go home, for the first time since pre-pandemic, I went to the College Park TD Bank here to meet with my financial advisor and lock up some funds in a one-year GIC. But now, after taking a quick post-night shift afternoon nap, pretty much editing live from last week videos all day, and since my plans for tonight, October 11th, have been cancelled of going to Game 2 of the ALDS now that the Blue Jays have been eliminated, I'm just chilling at home watching some playoff baseball without the Blue Jays while doing our birthday greetings of today. Where we first have a birthday greeting to one of my university classmates from back in the day. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Lily. Happy birthday, Lily. Next up, a birthday greeting to one of my high school buddies from back in my St. Stephen's days. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Benjamin. Happy birthday, Ben. And last but not least, we got a birthday shout out to one of my family friends living in the States. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Jasmine. Happy birthday, Jaja. I'm hoping that all my friends and family members that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration. 
for your birthdays this year. So since I was trying to catch up on some lost sleep from yesterday and not getting a good enough sleep from last night, pretty much all day I just laid down on the couch feeling tired, exhausted, and pretty fatigued. But guys, I did find a little bit of motivation looking outside from the views of the condo this evening to actually get outside before the sunset and get in some exercise. So for the first time in a long, long while, I'm running in the neighborhood and it smells like somebody's making some delicious chicken adobo. Oh. I put on my running shoes to go out for a nice evening 5k run. And guys, after feeling pretty out of shape with my heart rate being at its peak for most of the run, also for the first time in a long, long time, I took a post-run dip in the indoor pool at the condo before pretending and turning back the clock like I was back at the Elmwood Spa sauna rooms. I went to sweat it out a little bit here at the dry sauna at the condo. But yeah guys, before we wrap it up, after using several of the condo's amenities, we have a quick birthday shout out to one of my cousin-in-laws in the Philippines. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Diane. Happy birthday, Diane. We've also got a birthday greeting to one of my friends in university who I remember going to the nursing games with in Montreal. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Paul. Happy birthday, Paul. I'm hoping that all my friends and family members that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. After waking up getting one of the better sleeps that I've had in a long time, it's no wonder I got up with this pretty cool hairstyle this morning. I woke up like this. Anyways, after finally making some time to do a little bit of maintenance on my stationary bike, I was able to hop on it for the first time in what seems like several months to do a nice little bike workout with my Fitbit here in the condo before I go in for a busy stretch of doing five shifts in the next six nights. Starting my first of my scheduled two night shifts later on tonight. Guys, this morning commuting home from work, I decided to stop by a place that we were only a week ago. And well, just like how I promised you guys last week, unfortunately for you guys, you'll have to wait till next week's episode for the music video of this recent session at Activate. We now present to you that one and only Activate music video. Now before I get ready to go in for my second night shift in a row tonight, we have a quick birthday greeting to one of my manongs out there who I've run into at 52, but I haven't seen in over half a decade. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Richard. Happy birthday, manong Richard. We also got a birthday shout out to one of my university friends out there who you guys know I ran into last time at the first ever WNBA game in Canada. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Angelica. Happy birthday, Angelica. I'm hoping that all my friends and family members that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. Man, what a busy night I got to tell you guys about today. But first, I got a quick birthday shout out to one of my BVG friends out there from our day camp days in those summers. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Ainsley. Happy birthday, Ainsley. 
We've also got a birthday greeting to one of my childhood friends up in heaven. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Lauren. Happy birthday, Lauren. And last but not least, we got a birthday greeting to one of my former co-workers who you guys remember I last saw on this Live From Last Week episode. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Susan. Happy birthday, Susan. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. But moving on, after having a shift where one of my coworkers brought these snack pack of tackies for us to enjoy, of which I know I'll be regretting because it will definitely burn my hoo-ha later, thanks to last. I decided post night shift to head to an event that I've participated in and been to several times in the past. Going to check out the start line at the Toronto Waterfront Marathon, where I was hoping to run into a couple of friends that I haven't seen in a long time for the sole reason of cheering them on. Yo, let's go! <laughs> Yo, Jerome! Yo, cheering you on, man. Saw you training through Facebook and everything. Yo, best of luck, man. Alright, y'all. Good luck, bro. man. I was also able to watch several runners do what I did while I was attending events like this. And that of course was warming up by running directly to the start line. I also saw that after looking on the Toronto Waterfront Marathon homepage, that one of my friends back in my high school days was actually DJing on the main stage. Yo guys, I used to go to high school with this girl. Say HT on three. One, two, three. HT. This is great, definitely running into you earlier today, Jerrica. And I'm hoping that you guys out there can support local businesses by checking out her socials right here. I had also found this booth where runners can check out their times and have it posted on a poster with me clocking in at this time earlier this morning. As well, let's not forget about these guys who I ran into that had personal bests in their 5k race earlier today. Ooh, I think I see somebody else I know. I think I see somebody else I know. Yo! Martin Liza, congratulations, guys! 5K? 5K! Yeah! With whom, of course, I took some fun and memorable photos with after their race. Anyways, before stopping by home, I caught Sunday morning Catholic Mass at a church that I haven't been to in years at the Holy Name Parish along the Danforth where I got a copy of next year's Sunday Missal on this rare visit to this church. Also, when I eventually got home, the wife had messaged me that she and the sister-in-law had recently, in their travels, arrived in Dublin. And so, for the first time since I checked out the EarthCam here during St. Patrick's Day, I turned on my EarthCam app on my Fire TV, loaded this baby up, and managed to see some familiar faces here on the Dublin cam next to the temple bar. There they are! I found the sister-in-law and the wife, yo! In Dublin! In front of the temple bar. And what a trippy experience that was, seeing somebody that I actually knew and even FaceTime calling them while I could see them directly in the background on the Earth cam app. But finally, at 1.30 in the afternoon, I was able to get my post-night shift sleep in, only to be woken up by my body after a 61-minute nap, because I think I was too excited for what I had planned this evening. For the first time since I saw her live and in person, and this live from last week episode, I went to the Scotiabank Arena with my longtime friend Han Han to catch a Toronto Raptors preseason basketball game.
with the fun times I had last night in the platinum seats with Han Han. And visiting my cousin Jonas, who was working last night. These two had this message for one of my cousins out there. One, two, three, hi Faye! Hello. Hi! <laughs> I'm also thinking that where Han Han and I were sitting, I was able to make cameo after cameo after another cameo. Being on TV, sitting in these luxury seats. The closest I've ever been to, to being courtside, at a Raptors game. Yo guys, check this out. Guess who makes a cameo eating their popcorn on TV? <laughs> but unfortunately guys, I got a little bit of sad news to report. Cause when I got back to my motorcycle, I saw that the bike had been shifted a little bit with where I leave my winter gloves in my helmet being empty. So I'm suspecting that somebody might have stole my winter gloves from there. So, to get my mind off of this, when I got home, I bought and enjoyed this McDonald's Happy Meal to make myself feel better. But anyways, moving on to today, before I go in for my first of a scheduled set of three night shifts, after seeing these guys off several times last week in last week's episode, I made my way to drive all the way to Pearson to pick up the wife and the sister-in-law coming back from their Egypt trip. We then picked up some sushi at a place that I haven't been to in a long while. At a plaza in Mississauga that we haven't visited in a couple of years. Enjoying this platter at the Saga home for lunch. While receiving some gifts from Egypt from the wife's most recent trip overseas. But anyways, before we wrap it up for the day, I have a quick birthday shout out to one of my university friends who I remember last running into at the Nurse Blake comedy show. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Ray. Happy birthday, Ray. We've also got a birthday shout out to one of my coworkers who is always cheerful, positive, and always down to help you out. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Tiffany. Happy birthday, Tiffany. Next up, we got a birthday greeting to one of my friends who I'm remembering visiting their place last time in the summer. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Kevin. Happy birthday, Kev. And last but not least, we got a birthday shout out to one of my friends who you guys remember me going with to the open house of the Eglinton Grand. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Geraldine. Happy birthday, Geraldine. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. And so with that, guys, we'll wrap up this week's busy Laugh From Last Week episode. So, if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jay Walker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jay Walker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live from Last Week.